Hello, everybody, and welcome to the webinar, giving everybody just another moment to start getting settled in there. Some housekeeping to get started. I'm Laura Stewart, and I am the Director of Online Channel Events for SASMAX, and it's such a joy to have you here. And as I always say on my radio show, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, because we have people listening live on this webinar from so many different time zones that it's hard to keep track of them, and I just don't know what time of day or evening it is for everybody. So a little other housekeeping. If you have any questions or if you have any technical difficulties, please put your comments in the question pane, and I will be monitoring them throughout the webinar. The webinar is scheduled for 30 minutes today, and we are always conscious of how valuable your time is, so we will be ending at 1.30. But if there are questions that have not been answered, we will continue answering the questions until they are all answered. And anybody that has to drop off, we will be sending the recording out within 24 or 48 hours after the webinar has completed. So let's get started right away. Today, we are excited to be able to present to you SkySwitch, the ultimate white label platform for resellers. And we've just got so much information to deep dive into, I'm going to jump right into our agenda. We're going to be talking about SkySwitch, their problem that they solve and how they solve it, why MSPs should choose SkySwitch as their solution, highlights of the ecosystem. We're going to do a bit of a live demo here, and I'm really excited about that because it's really cool what you're going to get to see. And then I know something really near and dear to all of your hearts as a former MSP myself. We're going to talk about the sales model, pricing and commission, extra incentives, and how you can get started working with SkySwitch today. So you've already seen him a little bit on video, and let us let me introduce you to Sean Breeden. He is the Northeastern Regional Sales Manager at SkySwitch. And, and Sean, welcome to the webinar. Okay, and we cannot hear you, Sean. So let's oh, get I his... apologize. Sorry about there that. There we go. You're on mute. <laughs> we good to go? Yep, sorry about that. Okay. Nice to meet everyone. I'll let you take it from here. Okay, excellent. Um, if you just want to start here with the, yeah, my, excuse me, to introduce myself first, my name is Sean Breeden. I'm the Northeast Regional Sales Manager here at SkySwitch. Uh, I've been with the company for two years, and the goal of today's webinar is to kind of go over who we are, what we do, and hopefully how we can help your organization. Next slide, please. Um, so um, what we what we do not do is we do not sell direct. Um, we strictly sell to the channel. Uh, MSPs, interconnects, IT companies, bars become an IT integrators. Uh, we do not want to compete with our partners. Um, and then our, uh, our partners um, are able to benefit from building a nice monthly recurring revenue. So we don't pay commissions. Uh, we're, we're not an agent model. It's a lot different than your Ring Centrals, Bondages, 8 by 8 um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that model. It really just depends on uh, what your addressable audience is, what your demand is. But in our model, it's a great way to build a nice monthly recurring revenue, and it's uh, it's very sticky. You have um, control of the billing, so you can set somebody up to be billed on the first, second, third of every month, the first, fifteenth, thirtieth. You can have every day as an anniversary date. That's totally up to you and and how you uh, construct your um, billing your your end users. And then everything's branded under your own name. Um, so the portal will have your uh, logo on it. It'll be customized to, to your liking. Um, again, you know, pretty, uh, our partners really utilize us for three major components. It's infrastructure as a service, software as a service, onboarding and ongoing training. Essentially, our partners are going out, evaluating their customers' network topology, and putting the phone on a desk, all I being brought to them by your organization. So you own the customer. It's a great way to build a nice monthly recurring revenue. And you'll see here the margins usually range anywhere from 50 to 70 plus points of margin, depending on what you're selling it for. Um, the and from an from an end user standpoint, it go you know our partners I mean, go local means faster delivery. So you know our our partners are able to, to deliver on the value. You know, people always ask what makes our partners successful. It's really the value. A lot of our partners do business uh, local to where their uh, where their corporate office is. So they're usually able to get to that customer within a half an hour, an hour tops. 
Um, so God forbid, if there is a, a major issue, you can get out to that site uh, relatively quickly. Um, usually the relationship there is a lot better than an organization that is, is uh, not local. You know, you have your larger ISPs that are out there and, you know, you call in to support and a lot of times you're sitting on hold for a half an hour or, or longer where our partners are usually able to answer that phone within the first couple of rings. They can text them. Um, so the customer service, the value that our partners bring to the table is really, uh, is really the sell. Um, <clears throat> if somebody had to ask, well, you know, in two words, how would I sum up this relationship? It's really flexibility and control. Um, you know, you can use any type of phones that you'd like as long as they're SIP enabled. Uh, we recommend Polycom and, and Yealinks just from a support standpoint. Uh, if you have an issue with those uh, devices, you can call into support. Uh, we're able to assist you with those. We even have a store that's integrated into our portal that you can purchase uh, hardware from and you can provision those phones uh, during checkout. So essentially, you can go in, purchase the phones, have them shipped to your clients. Uh, all, with all your information, assuming their network infrastructure is built, it can just be plug and play. Um, you know, it's all about building brand equity. So it's your company, uh, it's your brand. You know, again, nobody knows who SkySwitch is unless you decided you wanted to, to divulge that information. Why, why deliver SkySwitch to your client? So just kind of a little quick peek under the hood here. It's a little uh, pinwheel here, kind of just discussing all the different components that we bring to the table. Uh, I'm going to start over here to the right, which is our billing platform. So we've tightly integrated a billing platform called RevIO uh, into our backend switch. We leverage NetSapiens as our class four, class five switch. Uh, RevIO will bill your customers on your behalf. Yeah, they can pay you via ACH, credit cards. If you want to, you know, uh, send out uh, an invoice, they can also pay you by check. So totally up to you. Um, RevIO brings a lot of automation to the table. But the two major reasons, two major components of why people use it besides all the bells and whistles is, one, it'll handle all the taxation for you. And two, it'll also handle the ratings, meaning that you can bill for metered minutes or buckets of minutes or you can even sell somebody 10 unlimited extensions and you can state it if they surpass 2,000 minutes in a given month, you can bill them, you know, two and a half cents a minute. So basically it's sophisticated enough to say, you know, you can set something at X and if somebody surpasses X, you can bill them Y. Uh, we've uh, built our mobility app, which is called Reach UC. <clears throat> Every number on our platform is SMS and MMS enabled. So you can send the text messages a text message and a picture message to any number on our platform. You can facilitate that by Reach UC, our mobile app, or you can also have that number associated with an email address and somebody can receive it. They text a number which is received via email. That person can respond back via email which you will receive via text. And then also we just build an integration with Rocket Chat, which is a competitor of Slack. Uh, so, again, if there's interest there, we can set up a, a side call. We can drill down into to all this. Um, we've also built uh, an SMS responder bot, which is where you can associate particular keywords to a number. Uh, and then that, that can respond back with either a picture, uh, a link, or text. Uh, as a quick example, is if you're driving by your local pizza shop and on the A-frame out front or on their window, it states, Hey, you know, text the word menu to this number. You can text the word menu and it'll automatically respond back with a picture of a menu. Or maybe you're selling a real estate and you drive by and it says text the word picks or stacks. It'll text back that information uh, to that uh, potential customer or um, uh, client. <clears throat> it literally takes less than two minutes to set up. It's um, just associating uh, an actual uh, keyword to a particular number and what type of response they would like to, to receive back. Um, from a switch standpoint, we bring all the features, functionalities to the table, um, call recording, voicemail transcription, find me, follow me. If you're selling to call centers, uh, we have a call center seat, which will bring uh, more statistical and graphical information to the table. Um, the portal itself is very easy to navigate. It's not complex or it's not complicated. And the reason I state that is we do a lot of business with sole proprietors, two guys and a dog, a husband and wife. 
and and they're very successful. If um, you know, if it took a large support team to uh, you know bring us into their portfolio and have to support that, there's just no way we would do business with smaller organizations. Uh, the ideal customer for SkySwitch, so most of our partners are selling to micro, uh, SMB, um, short, shortened sales cycles, better cash flow, you know, usually takes anywhere from five to 10 days. Uh, some of our partners do go upstream, um, but it's we're vertical agnostic. Our partners sell to you know, car dealerships, uh, real estate. You can see here we have a couple of our larger partners, uh, MyPillow, not sure if you've ever seen Mike Lindell on, the, on an infomercial. Uh, he has about 196 agents, uh, so he's one of our our partners, larger customers, and then the Muscular Dystrophy uh, Association. I believe they're up to 52 sites on our platform. Uh, so just to kind of give you an idea of, um, you know, I'd say the bread and butter is micro to SMB, but some of our partners do go up, upstream. Our switch can facilitate um, anywhere from you know one endpoint to to thousands. There's no restrictions. Uh, our value proposition and competitive competitive advantage. Um, so we're uh, we have a geo redundant environment. We have uh, three geo nodes that are located across the U.S. We have one located in Secaucus, New Jersey. That's at an internet facility. We have one located in Dallas, Texas. That's also at an, in an internet facility. And then we have one located in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's at uh, Via West. So we even build in some redundancy in regards to our um, our data centers. Uh, so, God forbid, if there was an issue with one of those, it'll automatically fail over. Uh, NetSapiens is geo redundant, so you'll see in the configuration that the phone is virtually peered to multiple data centers. And if primary goes down, it'll automatically fail over. So, it's not uh, active standby or active dormant, it's active active. Um, we, as I mentioned, we sell to uh, some of our partners, sell to call centers. Uh, every number on our platform is SMS. Uh, capable. Um, we also build in our web and video conferencing. So instead of selling the likes of GoToMeeting, Zoom, or WebEx, you can leverage uh, our web and video conferencing. Um, we're working on our integration with ConnectWise. Uh, that'll be completely uh, that'll be completed Q1 of 2020. We do have components of that done uh, already, and which we'll re be releasing next next month at uh, ConnectWise. Uh, channel partners in, in Orlando. Um, from a troubleshooting standpoint, you can uh, we have a lot of tools that are integrated into our platform that'll help you troubleshoot uh, both on the front end and also if there was an issue w uh, with a call, you can run a, um, uh, a trace on every call on our platform right in the call history, which will show you the SIP ladder. We've integrated a VoIP monitor, so you can uh, run a PCAP on any uh, call uh, on our platform. Um, and, and you know, dive deeper into uh, what may or may not be the issue. And then every call will, will also have a QoS score. Uh, so you can pull that right up in the call history and that's the first, you'll see there's a column there of QoS and you'll be able to see exactly what that MOS score is. Um, our tier one support is located in uh, the Philippines and then tier two, tier three is located in the US. Uh, there's about uh, 32 people on our support team. They do one heck of a job. And last but not least here is we have our annual partner conference next month. It's called Vectors. It's located in uh, or Orlando. It's where all of our partners come. We have a lot of different speakers. We release any new technology that's coming out in the next 12 months. And it's just, it's one of the best conferences I've ever been to because everyone there is doing the same thing. They're utilizing uh, SkySwitch. So it's a, not only a great place to learn, but also it's a great place to network. Uh, UCAS market adoption. Um, you know, I won't dive too deep into the statistical since we're limited here in time. But as I'm sure everyone is aware of, from a revenue standpoint, it just keeps going up and up. I mean, voice, I always kid around and say used to be the black hat of the uh, IT industry. Uh, now, with all the integration that it's bringing to the table with different CRM integrations, ERP, um, you know, it's almost mandatory to have a good phone provider that is able to uh, hopefully automate a lot of things for your clients and potential clients.
uh, wholesale reseller pricing. So your average cost in our uh, world will sit around, you know, anywhere from five to seven dollars. Uh, as the example here, um, you know, six dollars and twenty-five cents. There's a couple different variables that go into that, but you know, I'd say the average cost is around five to seven dollars. Um, you know, most of the time, uh, from a, an unlimited standpoint, because that's what most of our partners are selling it for. Uh, they're selling an unlimited extension for anywhere from $24.99 to $32.99. It seems to be the most popular uh, range. So you can see where uh, the margins come from. From uh, and additional features and functionalities, there's only three thing, three features that we charge for additional, and they're all under $2. And usually those three are being line itemized out, and you're charging your customers accordingly or encapsulating them into some sort of uh, bundle. Uh, call recording is a dollar per user. Uh, voicemail transcription is a dollar fifty, and then the cost of Reach UC is free. Uh, it's our mobile app if you're just looking to make and take calls. And we have a Plus version. What the Plus version brings to the table is the ability to send and receive text messages, picture messages, the ability to send and receive faxes, and also the ability to see presents. That's a dollar ninety nine. And you know we can dive a lot deeper into the pricing if there's uh, interest in, in setting up another call. Uh, building better EBITDA with SkySwitch. Just kind of some examples here of extensions and, and what they're costing. Uh, as you can see here on the first line, if you have 10 extensions uh, with an average cost of $25, you have a reseller monthly billing to end user of $250. The cost from SkySwitch, $73. You're looking at a profit there of $177 or 71%. And then reseller total recurring for the year. So we can do a lot more cost analysis, uh, again, if, there, if there's interest, but just wanted to bring up a slide here to kind of give you an idea of what some examples would look like from one, a retail standpoint, and two, from a wholesale standpoint of what your cost would be from us and how we come up with those margins. Our pricing is also tiered. Uh, so as you grow, your uh, cost will uh, you, you'll have a reduced cost. Obviously, your uh, profitability will, will increase. And you can see here the different tiers that we have. Uh, it actually starts even lower than that. Um, so to give you an idea, from zero to 99 extensions, your cost would be $4. Uh, 100 to 4.99, it goes down to $3.80. And as you scale and grow into the thousands, those costs are even reduced even more. Um, so we pretty much treat all of our part we treat all of our partners the same way. We don't have different plans or different ways our partners come on board. Everyone comes on the same way. And as you grow and you increase volume, your cost of goods are, are reduced, which in turn increases your profitability. Uh, getting started with SkySwitch in the next steps, uh, if there's interest, so we could set up a, another call. Uh, we'd like to dive a little bit deeper into the portal to show you exactly what that looks like. Um, if you like what you see, we usually send you the pricing right after that call so you can completely understand what the pricing is, actually see it in black and white, and then we set up a third call to do some cost analysis, make sure you completely understand the wholesale uh, pricing. We set up those two steps for, for two reasons. One is we wanna make sure that it could, this could possibly work for you from an operational standpoint. And two, can it work for you from a, a profitability standpoint? Uh, if we can check off those two boxes, then you know that pretty much opens it up to anything else that you need or want. Uh, I always recommend talking to references, uh, testing, you know, make sure you kick the tires, try to break it, make sure it lives up to, to your expectation. Um, we need to take a deeper dive into the pricing to do cost analysis, uh, but you know you want to check out those boxes to make sure that uh, we could possibly work, uh, be a great partner for for your por portfolio. And Sean, you have a special offer as well for the Sasmax resellers that includes uh, yeah. conference well, for all. Correct. Yep. Yep. Free co conference. You have the uh, two free vectors passes to to our partner conference. Uh, Twenty five percent of all start up free fees. Reach UC Plus again is what brings the uh, the table the ability to send and receive text messages, picture messages, uh, presents, and faxes. So, so discounted uh, pricing on those. Um, so we can dive a lot deeper into that pricing and, and show you exactly what that is. But 
yes, you get some major benefits for being a SAS Max partner. Okay, and it was my mistake on the agenda that we were going to do a demo because I think when we were speaking with Jason, he couldn't figure out how to do a demo in five minutes. Was that correct? Uh, well, since we were limited here to a half an hour, I didn't think we'd have time to dive too deep into uh, a demonstration, but we can side note that. and Because a, a real a demonstration is going to take about an hour to dive into everything and show you everything. So um, I thought we'd just be a little too restricted here from the time standpoint. <laughs> I think we would be from what I had seen of, of the product. So everybody, I apologize for that with the demo. But Sean is really great to connect up with, and we can get you a demo that will really make a lot more sense than just a couple of minutes that we could do here inside the half-an-hour webinar. Sean, you were talking about a couple of things that I just, my own personally, I had some questions as a former MSP and in the conversations I've had over even the last few months with a number of people. A number of MSPs really have a fear of moving into the, the UCAS market. You know, the whole idea of voice. It's, it's scary enough nowadays with cybersecurity and taking care of somebody's network. But now, now you're dealing with voice, right, where it becomes so mission critical. How do you address the fears of somebody that may be currently listening to this webinar or may be listening to the replay about stepping into an arena that perhaps they've never dealt with before and how you support them. Yeah, so that's why I always highly recommend uh, references because there's a lot of people that have came from the Ring Essentials, the 8x8s, uh, uh, you know, all different realms. So to kind of pick their brain on and say, hey, what, what were some of the trials and tribulations that you faced? Were, were, were the hurdles that, uh, that large to, to climb? You know, how was the migration process? So, you know, I can tell you in, until I'm blue in the face how easy it is or, or what it looks like. But to me, always leveraging references is talking to people that are out there doing it every day. So, you know, testing it, talking to them, you know, really trying to provide them with whatever they need or want to make sure they're comfortable with who we are and what we do. Um, you know, sometimes that's multiple steps, so sometimes not. But, we, you know, our goal is really to provide our potential partners with anything they need or want to make an educated decision. Okay, how secure is the SkySwitch platform? Everybody's worried about being hacked on many levels, and now you're integrating text and MMS and video and phones all in um, a web-based environment. So how secure is it, and does it work well for uh, verticals that have security protocols that are mandated by the government? Yes, yeah, so we're HIPAA compliant. Um, from a, a fraud standpoint, a, a security standpoint, we have eight different algorithms that run in uh, our background uh, that we track every day. And, and, you know, if they go over certain thresholds that we are alerted. So, you know, God forbid, since I've been in this business, I haven't seen anyone, um, you know, hacked it on our platform, which is always a good thing. But we have, you know, we have different things set up in regards to protect our partners. Uh, from that, and God forbid if something did had happen, we are alerted. SMS is encrypted, um, so you're protected from that standpoint. And if you're selling into medical offices or somebody uh, that needs HIPAA compliance, we just went through that process about nine months ago, so we will sign a BAA on our partner's behalf. Okay, great. And for anybody who didn't know what he meant by BAA, uh, Business Associate Agreement, and we can also help you with some of our other vendors, help you understand HIPAA compliance as well outside of the sky switch realm. Disaster recovery is a very hot topic right now, especially here where I live in Florida, where Hurricane Dorian just passed through. In terms of how the sky switch back end works, and is it a good, it sounds like it's a great solution for recurring revenue and also disaster recovery planning. Is that is that a correct assumption? And how do you handle if some if there's a disaster about to happen to make sure that the MSPs can work with their clients to maybe immediately switch over if their offices are, are destroyed or they have to go to another location? Yeah, that, that's why we have multiple nodes. So we have three geo nodes across the U.S. Um, because if something does happen at primary, it'll automatically fail over to the secondary. 
that's what's key when you're doing your research in regards to a white label partner or any solution is understanding what their back end is. So as I mentioned, we utilize NetSapiens. NetSapiens is GA redundant. Some soft switches are, some aren't. I mean, there's really six major ones out there that I'm familiar with and that I'm sure most people are utilizing. It's your, so people are either utilizing NetSapiens, Broadsoft, Genban, Metaswitch, multi-tenant asterisks, or free PBX. Um, unfortunately, multi-tenant asterisks is not GRE redundant. So that's uh, a flaw of you know their their soft switch. NetSapiens is so it's key to understand what you would be utilizing and that it is active active true GRE redundancy, meaning that the phone is virtually peered up to multiple data centers. Okay, how quickly can somebody be turned on if they've signed a contract? Uh, you can get up and running, assuming you're doing your homework and everything you need to do in under a week. No problem. Okay. 100% same thing. Confident in that. Same thing if they sign a client, they can have a client switched over from their current phone platforms within a week. How typically, how long does that typically take? Uh, the, the only thing that would take long is the porting process. So your average port time takes anywhere from five to 10 day, 10 business days. So. That would be the only time incurred there. If we're talking about new numbers, you can get somebody up and running today or as fast as you can get there and their equipment's on site. Okay. Everything Learning. is controlled by our partners. Okay, great. Uh, another question that came in is, what's the learning curve typically for the clients in order to learn the new system and how it works with all the different feature functionality? Yeah, from a, from a portal standpoint, it's, you know, it's radio buttons, add and remove drop down boxes. I mean, that's about the sophistication it takes to, to learn this stuff. If, um, you know, you get your hands in there a couple of times, it's, you know, you, you should get up to speed pretty quickly. I mean, you don't have to be a CCIE or CCNP or some sort of Cisco certified guru to navigate this stuff. Hence the reason I always mention doing business with smaller organizations because, you know, you you, you don't need to, to, to have, you know, all these different certifications to support or implement this. It's, uh, I think once you'll see it, you'll understand, you'll see exactly how, how easy it is. I mean, it just sounds like a really simple solution to put into a lot of clients at different levels. I remember when, as an MSP, we ventured into the UCAS in the early stages of market adoption. And oh my gosh, the training time was months long before we could ever consider going out to a client to pitch it. And then it it was always a nightmare. And this is such an easier solution now. And the fact that it allows things to go to phones, all integrated. So you have that constant new market, millennials plus who can communicate with the platforms. Any last words you want to say to everybody on the webinar or who'll be listening to the recording? I uh, know. I just I appreciate everyone's time. If there's interest in taking a deeper dive, we can set up a call. It takes about an hour to drill down in everything. And, you know, the goal is to show you how do you purchase phone numbers? Uh, how do you create customers, build users? You know, what does the interface look like? How easy is it uh, to navigate? Um, and that way you can you know make the uh, decision once you see it and hopefully confirms that you know it's very easy to navigate and uh, should be very easy to implement. Provisioning the phones takes less than three minutes. So yeah, just to kind of show you everything that we have under one roof and hopefully verify that it could be a potential fit for your organization. I appreciate everyone's okay. time today. Perfect. Thank you so much, Sean, for being here with us today. Yeah, sure. Anytime. <laughs> All right, just a couple last things. You've got Vector Orlando coming up, Transform Cloud Communications, October 27th to 30th, right here in Orlando, correct? Correct, yep. It's going to be a great time. Last year was awesome in Nashville. I can't wait for Orlando this year. All right, and if anybody signs up prior to that, you get free tickets to that event, which I think is really great. And that's a great resort that you're holding it at as well. Yeah, we have some great speakers, um, so I'm really interested. I can't wait. I can't wait for vectors. Excellent. Upcoming webinars for SASMAX. Our next one is on October 2nd with IBM Mass 360, Fast, Simple, and Secure Endpoint Management, and you can register online for that webinar that's going to be coming up. And if you're not currently a SASMAX race seller, or if you are and you want to get connected with Sean and the team at SkySwitch, 
please reach out to me or reach out to Clinton Gatewood, our channel chief. Here is there is information, and we'll get you in touch with the right people so that you don't leave money on the table. Thanks, everybody, for being here with us today. And as always, have a great day. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone.